So usually as a slap hitter, it's easier if you have someone throwing you front toss or if you have a machine or someone who can actually feed you a machine, but sometimes we need to practice on our own. So sometimes we don't know how we should practice our slaps off of a tee. So today we are going to work on a drill where we are gonna just be crossed over and we're gonna work through a progression that's going to help you with not only your soft slaps, but your hard slaps. This Tasha tip is brought to you by DeMarini. The new DeMarini prism is not only aesthetically pleasing, but it performs like a champ. Make sure you check out the prism at DeMarini.com. When we are crossed over, we want to make sure that we are in the front of the batter's box. We wanna make sure that we're setting up our tee in front of home plate again to simulate where we want to make contact and when we're doing this we're going to just do our first round stagnant so whenever i say stagnant you're just going to stay in this position not moving working on your hands only and the first round you're going to do soft slaps so when you do soft slaps all you're working on is making sure your hands are traveling inside the ball but we're getting the top part of the ball and we're just stopping at contact so we're going to do a series of stagnant of just doing soft slaps then we'll do a series of hard slaps where we're gonna to continue to extension out in front. So in this video, you'll see a clip of Allie where she is starting crossed over. So every time you see when I say stagnant, she's just staying crossed over, working on her hands. So for the first round, you see her just stopping at contact when she's doing her soft slaps. Then you'll see her be stagnant, working on her hard slaps, working on getting through extension. Then in the next round, when I say follow through, when we're talking about following through, now we're just finishing on our front foot. So whenever we're doing stagnant, we're just stopping working on our hands, but now we wanna feel that momentum of moving through the box. So now after contact, we're going to follow through on our right foot. So we'll do a series of soft slaps the same way with our follow through after contact finishing, and then we'll finish with a series of hard slaps with our follow through. So now you've seen uh, an example of what you could do off of a tee, working your crossover, working your soft and your hard slaps. But what you want to make sure that you are focusing on is you're working on your back control, you're working on your path, your hand path to the ball. And also with the follow through, you're gonna kind of simulate the feeling of moving through the box and moving towards the pitch. So this is going to be a great drill for you to incorporate if you are working on your own. I have a three part mini video series on the slapping basics. Download it from the link below. And also, if you wanna join a community of softball parents and coaches, players, I have conversations all about slap pinning. I would love for you to join my secret society in a free Facebook group where we share tips, drills, and motivation. I go live once a week and teach a little masterclass. Hit the link below. If you like this video, please let me know by commenting, liking, and sharing this video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.